If you're looking for a free online photo editing program that gives you a lot of different features but is also easy to use, then PicMonkey is a great tool for you. When you go to their website, you're going to see a lot of information about their upgraded royal plan. Um, if you edit photos a lot, upgrading might be a really good option for you. But today we're just going to talk about editing your photos for free and what you get for free. So at the top right of your site, you're going to see the link that says edit for free. You'll click on that and it's going to bring you straight into the editing window. Over here on the left, you're going to see all of your editing tools. Your first one gives you your basic edits. Anytime you want to click on these to do it, you'll just click and it will give you the options to change from. Your second is your effects, and this is going to give you different filters to add to your photos, um, different light effects. It'll give you an artsy area to where you can draw and doodle on it if you would like. Lots of different options in there. Your next one is your touch-ups panel. And your touch-ups panel is going to give you a lot of things for your photos, so correcting blemishes and things of that nature. Anytime you see a little crown on any of the editing tools, that indicates that it's a royal feature and you'll have to upgrade in order to use it. But you will see a lot in here that you can use for free. Your next one is your text option. And one thing that I love about PicMonkey is that it separates your fonts into different categories. So if you're looking for a serif font or you're looking for a sans serif, it's going to organize all of those for you so you're not having to sort through. Your next option is your overlays, and your overlays are really awesome because it gives you a lot of predetermined shapes and uh, overlays of that nature already added in here, but you can always add your own. So if you have something separate that you've saved, you can upload it and add it there as well. This also organizes it into different categories. So under Scrapbooky, they have a really cool label section here. And you just click what you want and drag it over and then you can resize it. That's a really awesome tool if you're wanting to make notebook covers, Pinterest board covers, things of that sort. Then you have your frames option. You have a lot of different options in your frames and each time you choose a frame you always can change the options under that as well. You have a textures panel and you also have a themes panel which is really cool here as well. Anytime you add something over, to resize it, it's going to give you your little handles. Um, it's going to keep it uniform for you. So one little trick that not a lot of people know is if you want to change the shape of it, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and it will let you stretch it to whatever size you want. Now of course you're going to have to really watch it because depending on the shape, and what size you're wanting to drag it to. Some of them is going to look really good and, and others won't. Anytime you have um, an overlay or a doodle, anything like that, when you have it selected, it's going to pull up this overlay box. You're going to have your basic option over here. You can change the colors. You can change the fade of it. But you also have an eraser tool up here. This is one dialog box that a lot of people don't click on and they don't realize that there's an eraser with that tool. So if you like this overlay but there's just one part of it maybe that you want to get rid of, then you can add it in there and try to use your eraser to make it just exactly how you would want it to look. When you are all done, then you can come up here and you can click on save and um, you also have options to share it as well. So that is PicMonkey. Very easy to do. Very hard for you to mess anything up. The easiest way to get in there and get used to it is just to dive in and start playing.